Togolese soldiers stand guard at this checkpoint at all times. The threat lies across the border. Beyond these fields, in southeast Burkina Faso, villagers live in fear of deadly jihadist raids. The jihadists kill people. They catch people and take them. We don't know where they've taken them. They can just grab someone, cut their throat, dump them and leave. In Togo, it's safer. Here, you've got security. When we're here, we're safe. On the Togolese side, the troops appear to have a handle on the situation. But the border zone between the two countries is busy, and it's hard to monitor all the comings and goings. 30 kilometres away, trucks pass through day and night at Sinkase. This is the busiest point for the trucks that link landlocked Burkina Faso to the Lome seaport in Togo. But for their safety, the drivers are now banned from certain routes. If you cross on the other side around Palma, there you've got a real lack of security. It's not safe there. In the end, they banned us from crossing over there. Togolese President Four Nyasinbe, recently re-elected for a fourth term, campaigned on his actions to keep terrorism out of Togo. Over 600 soldiers have been stationed along the border and the main road through Togo since 2018. For a country like Togo, the threat is real and the pressure is immense, quite simply because, as you have heard, we have seen fighting seven kilometers from our border. Cultural leaders are part of the plan to prevent the spread of jihadist ideology. In this school in the city of Sokode in the north, Quranic teachers warn students against radical influences. I see that it's very important to increase knowledge of Islam because it's the lack of knowledge of one's religion that enables people to be manipulated, to be led towards radicalization. These measures are not an overreaction. Last year, Togolese security officials broke up a jihadist cell with links to Burkina Faso. Radical Islam is here already.